I think that most of the grammatical principles that we describe in the book are actually conventions that have existed for centuries and that are still pretty stable. But a grammar is of course a social and cultural construct. It is not hardwired in the brain. Grammars change as societies and cultures change. The Renaissance was such a period of change and many of the visual grammatical principles that we describe in the book date from that period. But today is actually another period of absolutely massive change. And today's, today's changes have of course been foreshadowed in the work of avant-garde and abstract artists in the 20th century. But now they have become increasingly incorporated into the technologies, the visual technologies that are available to everybody. Perspective, for example, is an important part of visual grammar that we discuss in the book. Um, nowadays, apps such as Prisma, for example, they allow photographic images to be changed into the style of painters such as Picasso and Kandis Kandinsky. And Photoshop can distort perspectives in a way that even Escher would have not been able to dream of. So this is why history, historic, the history of visual communication plays an important role in the book, because it can explain how and why the principles of visual design that we discuss and describe, how, they, how and why they have come into being and how they are changing.